So we're going to talk about Andrew and Tristan Tate finally being charged, uh, officially charged in Romania. Andrew Tate, the self-proclaimed misogynist online influencer, was indicted Tuesday alongside his brother Tristan and two Romanian citizens on charges of human trafficking, rape, and setting up a criminal gang, according to a statement from Romanian prosecutors. The Tate brothers and two Romanian female suspects are under house arrest pending a criminal investigation for abuses committed against seven women, accusations they have denied. Tate was first arrested in Bucharest, Romania capital in December 2022. He and his brother were detained in police custody until March before being put under house arrest. Andrew Tate has also been charged with raping one of the victims while his brother Tristan has been charged with instigating other, others to violence. Tate, a former professional kickboxer, first became famous for his viral online rants preaching male dominance, female submission, and their pursuit of wealth. He has openly advocated for violence against women and was previously banned from every major social media platform until Elon Musk reinstated his Twitter account after taking over the company. He shot to prominence last year, leading many to voice alarm about his malign influence on his predominantly young male audience. School teachers from across the world have reported the growing prevalence of mis misogynistic views among teenage boys who are fans of the Tate content before it was taken down. His TikTok account racked up 11.6 billion views. Okay. Prosecutors have said that the Tate brothers recruited their victims by seducing them and falsely claiming to want a relationship or marriage. The Tate brothers' legal team said it will embrace the opportunity to fight in court and present arguments and evidence. To prove their innocence, according to a statement obtained by CNN affiliate Antenia 3 in Romania. The legal team specifies that now the referral of the case is to the Bucharest court. The judge will set a hearing in which he will either communicate the indictment to defenders chosen by Andrew and Tristan Tate or set a deadline for communing the, communicating the indictment by post. At the same hearing, the judge will discuss whether preventive measures against the defendant is necessary. Our main objective will be to establish the truth and ensure a fair and impartial legal approach by presenting evidence or proof of relevant of the case. The referral of the case is for trial will allow us to present a com comprehensive body of evidence diligently gathered and prepared over time, which will undoubtedly be essential in exonerating the, defend the defendants. Okay. Um, so they've been officially charged uh, with rape and human trafficking and probably money laundering, and there'll be some more crimes eventually added to this. So... You know, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, first let's get into something else. If I said that I didn't like the Tates, I'd be lying. I, I like them. I, I like their camaraderie with each other as brothers. Um, a lot of things they say make perfect sense. You know, uh, um, as far as men and masculinity, and masculinity is not toxic... Um, yeah, you know, men, there's certain men that think mas masculinity is being a total jerk off. That's not masculinity, you know, uh, masculinity is being polite, but being a man and being firm and being fair and, you know, doing the duties of a man. And he said that multiple times. And I, I agree with him, uh, with that. I, I agree with the working out. I agree with his stances on, um, you know, transgenders, hey, if you want to be gay, great. If that makes you happy, great. If you want to wear dresses as a man, great. Um, if that's what you do and that's what makes you happy, more power to you. But you don't have the right to approach other people's children who are in kindergarten and talk about sexual, you know, your sexuality preferences. It's totally out of line. It's totally immoral. Um, it's out of bounds. It's disgusting. It, you have no right to do that to anybody's child. Never. It does. It, you're just totally wrong. And he states that, and I agree with that. 
But I'm going to get to the issue that I have with Andrew Tate and all the podcasters who interview Andrew and Tristan Tate. You are a bunch of cowards. You're a coward. Um, let me look up something real fast. So Andrew and Tristan Tate went on the Patrick Beta David podcast David P- podcast with Adam Sosnick, right? And you know they let they're asking him all these questions. He's answering all these questions about the case. Andrew Tate he's sitting there and he's doing his spiel. Oh, you know, Patrick asks him, "How would you uh, fix America and transgenders and this and that?" And he, you know, he's doing his whole spiel that he does, Andrew. You know, and they're just they're just so enamored to be sitting at the table with him. They're just like in such awe of him, and. It kills me every single time because he's been on multiple podcasts and he gets away with this every time, Andrew. And I don't want to hear he can't talk about the case because he's answering certain things about the case and he's talking in depth about the case to a a degree. And it's just one question that somebody needs to ask him, whether he likes it or not. Be a professional. Be a man. Okay, and ask him this question. It's simple. Andrew, I've seen you on tape. Okay, you made a tape. And these are your exact words. You said specifically, I tell these dumb bees they have to pay taxes. I have them fill out the paperwork. They never, I never pay the taxes and I keep the money on top of the 20% that I already take from them. So you admitted fraud in your own words. Those are your words. Girls are stupid. They don't understand taxes. Does that ring a bell? Very simple, direct question. Answer the question. Those are your words. And then you'll probably say, oh, well, I'm just playing a character. But there's paperwork to back up your statement to see if he paid the taxes on these females. Now, if he paid the taxes on the females and he's just lying to be cool, okay, we owe you an apology. No problem. That was the first thing. The second question, you state, you stated that um, the webcam business only works is if you F all the girls, get them to fall in love with you, and then they will do anything that you want. Those are your words. Your words. I can play the tape for you. Under Romanian law, human trafficking is defined that whether it's by force, coercion, excuse me, or manipulation, that you get somebody to perform sex addicts, sex actually to perform sexual acts, and you profit off of it. You have committed human trafficking. Okay, that's the de- that's the law. I didn't make the law up. No interviewer made the law up, right? So specifically, again, if you force a woman, you coerce a woman, or manipulate a woman to commit sexual acts, and you profit off of that woman, you have committed human trafficking. Now, here's your exact words, Andrew Tate. These are your words. You have to, in order to make the webcam business run, you have to F all the girls, get them to fall in love with you, and then they'll do anything you want. So, in your own words, you admitted the lover boy technique. You admitted it. And the final thing. I've seen you say this multiple times on multiple podcasts. Oh, I could be a bad person like the drill rappers and promote stabbings and promote drug dealing and... If I was a bad person, I'd sell drugs. You're uh, in the same video that I've watched of you. You said money was getting tight. I wasn't making box money from kickboxing. I started selling drugs. These are your words that you have denied a few, more than a few times. So, in a nutshell, we have you admitting to fraud. We have you admitting 
to your co- coercion of these females. You're you're manipulating them to fall in love with you under a false pretense to commit, uh, you know, sex acts on camera for you to profit. That's the lover boy technique. And then you admit to selling drugs. And then somewhere along the line, in your own words, you're pretty much admitting to money laundering with the casinos that you opened. To, you said something about run the money through it. They have you on WhatsApp sending messages back and forth to this girl that, you know, the, uh, the webcam business is just a front. Uh, you know what I really do. I have these girls move money for me in packages. You're admitting to money laundering also. So it's mind-blowing that you're on all these podcasts, right? You go on one after the other and you do the same spiel. The Matrix is attacking and the Matrix and the Matrix and uh, join, uh, you know, join the real world now before the Matrix. Matrix? Really? You know, a lot of criminals, John Gotti, I mean, the list goes on and on. How did they all get caught? With their own big mouths. Simple as that. And I believe... Do I think Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate raped any females? No, I do not believe. I do not believe that at all. What I think happened is they had these females, flew them in from all over the world, with this you know online promise of you know they're going to live this luxury, this lifestyle like with like with him, this big playboy that travels all over the world, and and then they get there. And they're brought to a house with all these other girls and, you know, Andrew's out doing his thing. And it's he, he doesn't force them to do it. Then he finally approaches them about doing it. And if they want to do it, they do it. They If they want to do it, they do it. If they don't want to do it, he lets them leave. So his excuse is, oh, they can leave at any time. They can just go. And that's I believe that. I believe he that's true. But the girls that come and stay, you brought them there. Under a false pretense of love and marriage and, you know, all these things. And by the definition of the law in Romania, you have committed human trafficking. So then Patrick, uh, Patrick David, you know, he's this big, uh, you know, podcaster worth $500 million, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't ask you the tough questions at all. Totally not. The question. There, there's only three, four questions. The podcast, when they let you just ramble on for four hours, is fucking ridiculous. Okay? Because all they had to do is ask you four questions and get a response. So then they have Tristan on for two hours, right? He did the same thing. We got to hear about how three glasses of his, uh, uh, whatever he drinks, is, is, is uh, you know, three glasses of that is the equivalent of somebody's uh, rent for a year. And I wear eight thousand dollars suits and the whole bullshit routine, you know. He, him, and Justin Waller, you know, with the suits and stuff. Tristan, the only question I have for you is this: when it comes to this case, now you're not mentioned like Andrew for the most part, but you are mentioned in one specific thing. The girls that were in the house said they were terrified of you and the ex police officer that used to work for the Romanian police that's now works for you guys. The girls said that they were terrified of you, Tristan. So Patrick Beta, Beta David or Patrick David, here's your big question. Here's your big chance. You're a tough guy, right? Tristan, hey, the girls are saying they're terrified of you. Can you, can you tell us why this might come out of their mouth? That's the only question you got to ask him. No, we got to sit there and watch him talk about, you know, his $800 cigars and his $5,000 suits and all this other garbage. So you that podcast absolutely failed, right? So for it to have 5 million, whatever million views, what a waste of time. A four-hour podcast without answering any of the questions that everybody wants to know that those words came out of Andrew Tate's mouth and... Tristan, why are these females afraid of you and that ex-police officer? Why? What is your role in that? So basically, you had to ask these guys five total questions between the two of them. Could have took an hour and a half 
to get to the bottom of it. And the excuse, oh, I'm just playing a character. Oh, man, where do we go wrong with this? So you're just playing a character. So then why don't they ask you all these serious questions then, Andrew? You know, hey, uh, Patrick says, how would you cure all the problems in the West? And of course, Andrew Tate starts his spiel. You guys asked him every question except for the questions that are important. You failed. It did. Let me to look at this guy's name because I forget his name sometimes. <laughs> oh, Adam Sosnick, right? You were just like in love with the, the, two, the Tates. You're just in love with them. Right? You're just like in awe of them, their presence. Again, I like the Tates. I like their message. I think they're funny sometimes. And I don't mean funny like I'm demeaning them. They're just, you know, they act like themselves. They're funny. But there's just one big problem here. In your own words, you have admitted to human trafficking. You have admitted to the lover boy technique. You have admitted to drug dealing. You have admitted to money laundering. You have uh, admitted to fraud. These are your words. It's that. It's really that simple, man. So all these podcasters that are having you on and they're just letting you ramble and asking you every question that, that just goes around the big elephant in the room, your, that, your interview absolutely sucks. It's garbage. You didn't do your job as an interviewer. You know it. You're going to make the excuse, oh, well, his attorney said we can't touch on certain things. That's bullshit. You know why? Because he's already on there talking about a good portion of the case. Andrew, are these your words? Yes or no? Did you say this? Because Andrew always goes like this. Things that I allegedly said on camera. Andrew, it's you. There's no getting around it. It's you. It's you on camera in your own words. So now are you're just... I, I know one thing. No, I don't have millions of followers on my, in my podcast. Or, or is, my show is not as big as Andrew and Tristan Tate. But I know one thing. Everything that I say, I stand behind 1,000%. You're not going to get a video from me. I don't care if they were ready to the prison, the judge was ready to throw me under the prison. I'm not going to stand up there and say I was playing a character. I don't, I'm not playing a character at all on any of the controversial things I say. I mean exactly what I say. I know exactly what I'm saying. So Andrew, this whole thing that you're just playing a character, it's getting old. These are your words. Tristan has some answering to do. I don't want to hear about his suits, his cigars, and all his garbage. Tristan, the females in that house said that they were petrified of you. I can't pronounce the other chick's name. You know who I'm referring to, the police officer from Romania. They said that they're terrified of you. Can you answer that question, please? Thank you. Remember to subscribe to the Ford Ismani Show. Hit the like button.